Megatron? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to Evil Quest, part number 11. Lightning Spear, Flamethrower, damn! He's gotten some power since the dungeon. I like the progression in this game. Are you ready to complete the ritual? Hell yeah! There's my my good old axe, axy, and my sword flamey, and my sword icy, and that's my spear, Bolty. Bolty the spear. At last, the Chaos Axe! With this, I can finally travel to God's domain and put an end to his pathetic existence. You obtained the Chaos Axe. What the? Oh, I'm being smoten! That's what happens. Oh my god, he's a demon. Yes. Now, now I see the true purpose of the Chaos Axe. I feel like a god. No! No. Like a god slayer. Red and blood! He learned Shadow 2. Oh my god. How good was Shadow 1? Let me, let me, let me see this. Can we do it? Hey, lady. Your transformation is complete. Enter the astral realm and destroy God. Take your rightful place as supreme ruler of the world. Oh my god. We're gonna do this thing. We're gonna do it so good, bruh. Uh oh. Zombie guard. Galvis, is that you? What the hell happened? Tarkin, you son of a bitch. I've been waiting for this opportunity for over a decade. From the moment I got the Chaos Axe, I started craving the taste of human flesh. In fact, I'm gonna make sure the last thing you ever see is me ripping out your entrails and devouring them. Ha! <laughs> Same old sick bastard. I heard you escaped from prison, so I sent some spies to follow you. Very impressive what you've accomplished. Thank you for assembling the Chaos Axe for me. Now I'll be taking that off your hands. You see, it should be me who enters the astral plane. Me who kills God. Me who wields ultimate power. You delusional fool. You can't imagine the power I've amassed. Your treachery may have allowed you to gain the upper hand in the past, but face to face, your death is all but certain. Just beat on him one at a time. It's got to be the best way to do it. Oh shit. Let's get some death going. That'll work fine. Haha, uh -huh. I'm diagonal from you! Destroy them! Alright. Gotta do it. Tarkin, little butt dick. Who do you think you are, huh? You think you can fight with the master of the end of us? Never gonna happen, buddy. Let me tell you something. You're dead as fucking dead. Dead as disco, boy. This isn't over, demon! Oh, it is. Count on it. Look at this guy. Think he's somebody? I love being a demon. It's wonderful. I thought I'd be more like red than purple, but, you know, purple's okay. Cookie Monster's purple. Let me tell you about Cookie Monster. It's one evil little bastard. I baked a bunch of fresh sugar cookies for me and my lady there. Cookie Monster shows up, sits his fucking happy fat ass down, eats all them goddamn sugar cookies, let me tell you what. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yes! The Astral Plane! Oh look, a ghost shadow zombie thing. Is this heaven or hell? Or just the Astral Plane, and I shouldn't ask questions? Dude, gargoyles. Remember how badass they were on that Disney show? Oh no, wait, that's X-Men. Fuck. I don't know what gargoyles is. Should have asked me when I was nine. Skipping down the hall, scratching on my balls. I'm gonna get some potions, fuck this. Hello, I'd like to buy some potions. Welcome to my shop, Mr. Demon. Yes, lovely to be here. <laughs> All 
Alright, full up on herbs again. Now we're getting somewhere. God damn. That was some, some leak dodging. Dodgeage. Dodgeage? Dodge edge. Yeah. It's from my bullet hell training. You didn't know I trained in bullet hell, did you? Nah, how would you? There's no turning back once I step on this rune. Proceed. Of course. We didn't come this far for nothing, Galvis. Holy shit. I knew it! I felt the presence of my Chaos Axe the moment it entered the Astral Plane. But how can something so puny wield it? The Axe is mine now, and I'll cleave you in two with it. Besides, you failed to make good use of it before. I don't believe you have what it takes to destroy God. Silence! I have forged a new weapon with which I will break free from this Astral Prison. Killing you with it should feed it with enough power for me to destroy God several times over. How pathetic. The once mighty Tazriel has been reduced to wielding a child's toy. Come here, feeble demon. Let me put an end to your miserable existence. Are you ready? Oh, yep, he's ready. Dude, fuck you. How do you feel about that? Oh my god, no! No! Fuck! Ah! Oh. Out of herbs. Ah! Oh. What an asshole. Hello? God! I know you're here! I can feel your cowardly presence. Show yourself so that I can destroy you and put you out of your misery. Galvis, how unfortunate for you that your mind is so consumed by evil. You cannot defeat me. Even with that poor demon Tazriel's weapon, you don't stand a chance. Imbecile, I've slaughtered the demon, something you could never do. You are wrong, my son. I could have killed him at any time, but that is not my way. After our battle many centuries ago, I allowed Tazriel to live in solitude here in the Astral Plane. In exchange, he gave me the Chaos Axe, and I cast it into the realm of man. As a benevolent entity, I will offer you the same opportunity. And I will not even consider it. I'm not Tazriel, and you'll have to kill me to stop me. Oh, yep. I think he plans to. Ah, oh, I could have dodged it. Wasn't skilled enough. Didn't see it coming. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Come here, buddy. Tell the skull little something for you. It's uh the demon Tazrael's axe. He didn't want you to have it. Unless it was like going into your neck or something. But that condition? Oh my god. Long last, God is dead, and the world is mine to destroy. What is this nonsense? Haha, uh -huh, you're stuck in the Atlantic Ocean on an iceberg forever. Megatron? I gave you your chance to repent, demon. Now face the true power of God, and prepare to die. Uh-oh. Get some, get some! Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Let me stand over here and heal a little. Because uh, it doesn't seem to come over here. Aha! Uh -huh. What sort of master plan have you? None at all, I see. Nope. No sword either. Let's get to the extreme edges of the stage. And he's a punk. Goodbye, Tiger Megazord! Ho 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 ho! Oh shit. What are you? I'm the new ruler of the Astral Plane. And you, now that your false front of benevolence has been stripped away, I see you for what you truly are. Tell me, God, who did you replace? Did you also murder to gain your power? Have, have you always been a demon? I don't have to listen to this blasphemy. I will rip you to shreds, upstart. 
Uh oh. And he just might. But I have this really cool axe that shoots fire. Okay, don't go over there. We don't have to go over there. It's just fine. We've got no medicinal herbs. I need to be very careful. Jesus! Like I said, careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's fine. No, 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 no. Nope, nope. Okay, alright. Did relatively well with that one. I had to go into like Zen mode for a second. Come here, bro. Oh my god. So, so terrible. Wow. I just got smacked twice there for like all the health I have. Now he's gonna do his little fire jump rope, which gives me a chance to heal up. And I'm back in the fray. This is just fine without medicinal herbs. Alright. Yep. It's alright, bro. Don't sweat it. Oh, he's gonna do the thing again, isn't he? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. Damn. How could you have avoided that? You could not have. Come here, bro. Come on out, you big scaly bastard. You think God's a big scaly bastard? Nah. He created man in his image. Unless man was dinosaurs before. Like dinosaurs were the men before man existed. You know what I mean? Because they were like the rulers of the earth. Why is he glowing? I don't like when you glow like that. It makes me think you're doing something terrible. Okay, here it comes again. Ow. Yep, yep. Good, fine. Ow. It's fine. We're good. We haven't dropped below like half health. Except that one time when we did. But nobody remembers that. This, this cannot be! A miserable demon like you has won. And now it's time for you to fade away into oblivion. And it's time for the world to suffer for its crimes against me. Shoosh. With the annihilation of God complete, nothing could stem the tide of Galvis's hatred and the planet had to witness the full force of his fury. Within seconds, millions of men and women were, were reduced to dust, and in the terrifying moments that followed, the entire world recognized its fate. <laughs> Bow before Galvis and the demons that he was killing, but now they're his friends because he beat up God, even though the demons don't like God, or something like that. It's kind of contrived, but you know, you like it. It's action adventure. <laughs> He's humping the world. As the world was ripped to shreds, Galvis gorged himself on the misery of those snuffed out in the planet's final seconds. The astral plane wailed at the suffering that was inflicted on humanity that day, and mourned the passing of the realm of man. However, Galvis' satisfaction was brief. For a man with much ambition as he makes a demon with an incalculable lust for power. He began to wonder what else lied in the astral plane, and to that end, was it possible to conquer all of existence? So friends, this has been evilly evil 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 quest. I thought it would have a lighthearted message in the end, but it did not at all. We just raped and murdered and pillaged and destroyed the world. And I guess that was the goal of this game, so uh, if somebody had to destroy the world, I'm glad that it was me. And I'm glad that you guys could join me for the journey. I hope you guys will join me for whatever we decide to do next. This is officially the end of Evil Quest. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye
Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.